Hi everyone. Well, I guess you know what day it is already because you're probably getting ready to celebrate just like I am. Oh my gosh, it's been another long week, but you know what? It's Friday. Everything's right in the world again. It's a beautiful fall day. Thus, I changed my background to another fall background. This one I got from Amazon, but I think I'm just to kind of change things up, have a little bit of fun. There's sunflowers in here. There's some pumpkins, so it's good for like the fall through Halloween, September going into November. I've got my fall glass. Oh, I thought it said let's fall, y'all. No, we don't want to fall because it's fall. Yeah, I'm going to start over. Hi, everyone. It's fall, y'all. I am embracing this fall weather. I just love the colors. I love the mood. I love the sense of the fragrances of the season, changing up my scentsy warmers to my fall, my Halloween ones, using the fall scents, the apples, the pumpkins, and things like that. One of the ones that I'm burning right now is, I think it's walnut bread from a few years ago, one of those bricks I bought. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing so anyway i'm so glad you guys are here because you know what it's friday and i've got i've got wine i've i've got a, a fall glass and i've got some dinner cooking and you know it's you know i'm really excited to see you and not just because it's not healthy for nancy to drink alone Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home, welcome to my channel, and welcome to another Friday Night Wine Diary series oh, featuring Wink Wine. So today, I am finishing up my June box. I know, I'm a little slow, but you know, I've had some special things in there. I've had Battle of Wines, I've had some summer drinks. Now I'm going to be going into some fall wines, so my, wine, my Wink Wines are going to be sitting there, but you know what, they're going to be waiting patiently for me because I'm going to be waiting patiently for them so anyway we have got this wine from Spain this is 2021 it's a Spartaco and it's a red wine blend so we're looking forward to having this I've got a little kind of like a Mexican meal to have with it it's going to be great on these nice fall nights and if you're wondering what wink is I'm going to have the first video that I did up there so back in January 2022 I had discovered wink I probably watched it on a YouTube video and said you know that sounds good so I've been looking forward to having it I skipped some months here and there but all in all I mean this is my 18th box I'm excited to be having it and yeah so I, anyway I'm gonna have that link up there uh, there'll be a link below if you're interested in trying wink for yourself or maybe recommending it for someone that you know likes wine doesn't exactly have the best luck going to stores and looking at the thousands of bottles and trying to figure out what to try or someone like me that I'm not really comfortable going to stores by myself so having somebody kind of curate boxes for me based on my feedback and having it shipped to me every month I think some people are going to like that so anyway if you know anyone just kind of recommend them below they can go right to the website directly it's going to be the same as if they use my link it's going to be $29.99 I believe for your first four bottles shipping is free you are going to be just doing a quick questionnaire and it's not about what kind of wines do you like it's going to be what kind of foods do you like from there they're going to curate a box for you give you some recommendations if you decide to go with it like I said your first four bottles are like $29.99 shipping is free if you do use my link or anyone else that has wink dash that uses a link um, um, yeah they've got that person's going to get a free bottle of wine so cool right now if you decide you like it you sign up to say yeah I'm going to go for it a second month they're going to send you some recommendations again if you know the wines you like you are free to pick anything that's on their website or you can always use their recommendations that second month it's going to go up to the $59 shipping again is free and who's ever link you used gets a free bottle I know so that's pretty cool so anyway 
I think that's that about covers it for what pink is, right? And of course, I just like kind of dressing up on Friday nights, having a little bit of fun, pretending I'm going out. So, you know, maybe I walk slowly down the hall, you know, take my time. Maybe I grab a fancy handbag and say, yeah, I'm go going out for dinner. Yeah, I'm going from the kitchen to my bedroom to sit right here. Some nights I do sit in the living room, but you know, most times I've got this right here. It's just so convenient. Got some tables spread up around me. Can hardly move. When I wear these dresses with petticoats, yeah, I knock everything over. Yeah, you can't do that in small spaces. So anyway, so today we do have some dinner to have with my wine. And I have got a hodgepodge of things here. I put it on my big dinner plate. So of course I've got some rice here with some cheese. I've got what they call a Mexican casserole. So there's some, they said carne something or other. So maybe it's some beef and some corn and rice and beans and flavoring and sauce. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I still have my cold. I've got a cheese enchilada right here in the middle. And then on the end, I have a chicken quesadilla. So a little bit of everything. I shall not go hungry for days. Yeah, that's going to last a while. So anyway, let's take out this sweet wine. And again, I showed you my, did I show you my glass from Snapple? I got this uh, last year, last fall, but I did some of my fall wines. Snapple, she's got a sweet sweet shop on etsy i got some christmas glasses from her last year as well so she does monogram them for you and i think it shipped like within two or three days and so yeah i am loving my personalized wine glasses and snap elf so i'm going to have her link below actually i'm going to take a quick break go have some water and then i'll be right back Hi everyone, I'm back. Sorry about that, just needed a little break, kind of clear my throat, get the coughing out of the way, have a few sips of water. You know what? I'm good to go again. So we are going to be opening up my fourth bottle from my 18th box of Wink Wine. This one is from Spain. It's a 2021, it's a Spartico NSA red blend and yeah so it's all the way from spain so let's check this out shall we just got a twist cap i kind of loosened it while i took a break so i wouldn't have to make too many funny faces i did forget to bring in my aerator so i think but i think i can handle it all righty so i'm just going to pour a little bit in my glass here and it is a deep deep purpley red And then it's in my fall glass here. We're just going to kind of swish it around in the glass, kind of let all those fragrances and the, the scents just kind of relax, get a little more oxygen in there, help it to breathe a little bit more. All the scents, the fragrances are just going to come right up here to the surface. And I'm going to try to guess what it is. Yeah. I'm not 100%, but, you know, I take guesses. It's all in fun. I'm an amateur wine sniffer, an amateur wine drinker. But anyway, let's swirl this around. I can see that it is kind of coating my glass here. So it tells me we've got a higher alcohol content. Again, this is such a pretty deep shade of like a purpley red. Alrighty. Mm, yeah, so I can definitely sense the heat, the alcohol vapors. It's not oak, but it, there's, there's a different kind of wood in here, kind of like maybe like a cedar chip or you know how some people put different wood chips outside and when it rains when it's new you kind of get that scent so i'm thinking cedar but i'm not positive i just know it's not oak something sweet maybe blues blueberry maybe that helps give it this purple color maybe even cherry all righty cheers everyone happy happy friday happy fall y'all I have no idea why I stick that finger up there. Please forgive me. Mm. You can definitely, the tannins in here, it's dry, but not overly dry. You can just kind of sense it up here, up around your palate. A lot of acidity in here, so your mouth starts to water as it gets to the back of your throat, right before you swallow. You got the heat right here from the alcohol. I'm not sure if it's cedar, but it is, it's not oak, but it's some kind of wood that it was aged in the barrel. So not really sure what that is. I'm thinking cedar, not positive. Definitely blueberry, raspberry, maybe something else. Um, 
just gonna have another quick sip see if I can figure it out yeah I'm not sure what that there is something else in here something sweet can't quite pinpoint it maybe the blueberry and raspberry are a little bit more prevalent so I'm not sensing it but there is something else in here again it's not a full body I'm going to say medium to full it does coat your mouth I mean I can still taste it I know sometimes you have wine and a few seconds after you swallow it that um the palate whatever it's it doesn't linger this one lingers so it's long lasting it's coating the inside of my mouth it's coating all the way down it's really really wonderful so anyway we're going to put this down and I don't know what to have first probably the rice would be the neatest thing for me to have in here right but I'm going to taste this what they call the Mexican casserole already got a little bit here mm. that has some nice flavor I'm going to try a little bit of my cheese enchilada. I'm going to bite without making too much of a mess. Cheers, everyone. That's got some nice spices in it. Enchilada is good. I'm going to take a bite of my quesadilla. Chicken quesadilla. It's got some nice melted cheese in here. It's probably a big piece. Cheers, I'm going in. Happy Friday. I hope you are having something fun for dinner tonight. Cheers, everyone. Mm. This is going to be a good dinner. Maybe lunch tomorrow. Maybe lunch tomorrow and dinner tomorrow so I can finish it. I'm going to have a quick sip here. That is good. It's going to be a nice sipping one. I can still maybe see having this with a nice steak. I don't know. Maybe even a, a nice charcuterie board with some nice cured meats in there like pepperoni, some sausages, the um, those beef teriyaki sticks. Yeah, something like that in there. Some nice cheese. It's going to be wonderful. All right, let me get my cheat sheets here. All righty, so it's 2021 20, NSA Red Blend. From Spain it says the DOP Util Requena Spain and at the time that I got this in June it was a new wine only 140 people had tasted it and it was given a rating of 3.8 out of 5 I'm going between a 4 and a 5 I do really like that let's see what else it says it says it's round jammy and organic uh, it's got a medium body dry and the alcohol is 14 percent tasting notes are blueberry cedar raspberry red cherry i can't believe i didn't get the cherry so it says embrace the spirit of the high dessert with spadico a vivid lively spanish red i wish i had some maracas spanish red made from organic grapes inspired by the natural world spadico red blend is a wine that takes its cues from the biodiversity and stunning landscape of the spanish high desert this untamed tamed land in the hills just west of the mediterranean coast near valencia is one of the most extreme growing regions in the country and the wines that come from here embody the independent spirit of the area the 2021 is a medium bodied red blend that has blue and blackberry baking spice and chocolate notes this is a wine that's ideal for spanish tapas cured meats and hard cheeses it says serve it at room temperature or slightly chilled mine is at room temperature it says it pairs well with mexican cheeses cured meats and veggies now the recipe that they gave for this it says steak with a brooklyn backyard barbecue so i didn't even look at it because i knew i wasn't going to have steak i when i saw that it was good for mexican back in june i knew i wanted to have this with some mexican food so yeah i think this is going to go good but like i said it would go really good with a nice steak um maybe in a nice marinade or 
or a kind of like spicy rub and then marinate in that rub and then on the grill that would be wonderful. Of course, anything you cook on the grill is really, really good. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me and having my wink wine, my cute glass from Snap Elf, and my Mexican dinner. So again, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys go out and have a fabulous fabulous Friday night. I hope you've had some great dinner plans, whether you're going out to eat, having a barbecue of your own in the backyard, or going to friends, doing takeout, doing DoorDash delivery, or Uber Eats, or whatever else you do. I hope you enjoy it and have some great plans for the weekend. So take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much, and we will see you in our next video. Bye-bye.